Hello, I'm Grant McCarty. I'm a local foods and small farms educator with University of Illinois Extension, serving Joe Davis, Stevenson, and Winnebago counties up in northern Illinois. Today we're at the Strawberry Research Plot, which is in association with one of our growers in Joe Davis County. This is the second year of this day-neutral strawberry study, trying to really determine the suitability of these varieties being grown in an annual system. So we planted them last summer, we had yields into the fall, we learned a lot last fall, and yet we're gonna replicate them again this season, just to ensure that what we saw last year is, is actually what you would see if you grew these strawberries. This looks like some really big plots behind me, and you can see there's some flags as well. And yet it's a much smaller plot. We're really dealing with an area that maybe is a tenth of an acre. And the reason for that is that we can get the same amount of information from this smaller plot that then we can extrapolate it to a much larger scale. This also helps quite a bit when it comes to management because it means instead of me managing a whole acre of strawberries, we're talking about a very small plot. These strawberries were just planted last week. That's why you really don't see a lot going on in the fields. And yet we are starting to see some greening up so far of these berries. This plot is also replicated in Freeport at Freeport High School. They are also another partner in this research proposal and this research project. And so we'll look at them today as well. Those were planted two weeks behind or two weeks before uh, this plot was planted. So right now, not a lot going on in this plot just because these plants have just been planted. So here we have one of the bare-rooted strawberry plants. This is typically what we see a lot of times when it comes to growing strawberries on a commercial scale. The bare roots come in clumps of 25 typically, so you can see what this big clump <laughs> looks like. And when you're dividing them up, you will find plants that have really extensive root systems. You may even find that some have a little bit of green to them as well. Realistically, we're trying to get as much of this root system in the soil as possible, though we know sometimes that's not always possible when it comes to what we're growing. We have three different types of varieties of day neutrals this summer we're testing out. Mer de Bois, Seascape, as well as Albion. All three were planted last year as well. So this is that second year to really determine that what we saw last year is actually what is going to happen when these are planted in the field. And especially to be able to then make some good key recommendations. One of the other things that you'll notice with this plot and in comparison to the Freeport plot is that there's no plastic and there's no drip irrigation. And there's a reason for that. It is that this is very much grower led research. It is that our grower in Joe Davis County, he grows strawberries, perennial strawberries, and he grows them without drip and without plastic culture and a U-pick operation. So if we are going to recommend he grows strawberries, he wants them to be grown in that system. You compare that to Freeport. So Freeport is our mixed vegetable operation. They're selling directly to consumers via CSAs and farmers markets, and they're growing everything in drip and plastic culture. So the strawberries at Freeport are grown in drip and plastic culture. What we may find at the end of this research is that we may recommend day neutral strawberries for one group over another. It could very well be that for these to yield really well and for that potential of certainly profit to be made, that they need to be grown in drip and they need to be grown under plastic culture. Or it could also be the opposite. It could very well be that neither of those things matter too much. The other factor within this day neutral study is that so much of it is going to depend on markets. It is that these are going to arrive in the fall. And so it is that if the fall markets are there for you, then it could potentially work well. If the fall market isn't there and the price isn't there, then this may not work for you either. So we're still learning and we still have another season to be able to kind of crunch the numbers and maybe really figure out some really good conclusions for this study. All right, so here we are at our Freeport site. Uh, you see two school buses in the background. And the reason for that is the partner for the Strawberry Research Project is Freeport High School with their Freeport High School Student Vegetable Program. They do a CSA. They also do a farmer's market on Saturdays. And so this is our strawberry row. You see it right now. It's about two weeks ahead, and you always see a lot of greening that's happening. As we talked about with our, with our, our Joe Davis site at Terrapin Orchards, that site, the strawberries are being grown without any plastic culture or any drip irrigation, because that's what the growers do. At Freeport, you see we have plastic culture, we also have drip irrigation. So 
there's going to be some differences. We already know there's going to be some differences. And yet we have to factor that in when we are thinking about what might work for one grower may not work for the other grower. What you also see with this system is that because this is a mixed vegetable operation, they're growing different types of vegetables in each of these different rows. And one of the things that we really encountered last year was that as much as we think that strawberries have certain insect pests or disease pressure, when you're growing strawberries among other mixed vegetables, it means that insect pressure can be very season long. And especially as day neutrals are an annual strawberry and we're going to be growing them from the first week of May all the way to Halloween, Insects were a major issue last year, and we already know to expect insect pressure and insect pressure management is going to be something we're going to have to focus on this year. This research project is funded by an Illinois USDA Specialty Crops Block Grant, thanks to our research partners Terrapin Orchard and the Freeport High School Student Vegetable Farm. For more information on this research, please reach out to Grant McCarty at gmccarty at illinois.edu or by calling 815-235-4125.